In today's tutorial, we will have a closer look to the addition reaction of a Grignard reagent to a carbonyl compound. Let us choose an aldehyde as carbonyl compound and methyl magnesium bromide as the Grignard reagent. The reaction seems to be quite simple. It's a polar reaction. We have a positively polarized carbon, negatively polarized oxygen. Of course, in the Grignard region, the methyl group is negatively polarized and the magnesium is the positively polarized Lewis acid. So, simple addition reaction and this is the result after hydrolysis we will obtain a secondary alcohol. However, you've certainly heard about the Burgi donuts. Hello. If we have a carbonyl group, the trajectory of the nucleophile attacking that carbonyl group is known to have an angle of about 107 degrees. This is the case because the negative, negative charge of the nucleophile tries to avoid the negative electron density of the carbonyl group so that the ideal angle of attacking the carbonyl group is not 90 degrees but 107 degrees. And with this model, you can't explain a 107 degrees angle. Well, how can we solve the problem if we take to account the presence of more than one equivalent of methyl magnesium bromide? In the Schlenk equilibrium, we have two equivalents of methyl magnesium bromide in equilibrium with one equivalent of dimethyl magnesium and one equivalent of magnesium bromide. And this can help to solve our problem. Let's draw again the aldehyde functionality. Methyl magnesium bromide is a Lewis acid and can coordinate to the carbonyl group. Now the bromide is a Lewis base Dimethyl magnesium, again a Lewis acid, can coordinate here. Like this. And now through a six member transition state, one, two, three, four, five, six, we can achieve the addition reaction having no problem to fulfill the Burgi donuts angle for the trajectory and setting free, in this case, one methyl magnesium bromide. Thanks for listening.